What is up, guys? Welcome to my Tin Can Brothers X Vloggers Episode 4 reaction. Uh, episode 3 was the biggest blow up that we have seen uh, between Joey and Brian. It was really made all the worse by the fact that just a random person was there to witness all of this. I, I felt for you, John. I really, really did. Uh, but so far, I really haven't been paying attention to like the titles of the videos, but I did happen to scope this one out and it's called Changes Are Coming, which, yeah, I think leads like, it leads me to believe that my prediction from the last episode of this being the one where they break up, uh, I, I feel like that really makes me think that that's going to be what it is and, and kind of how it goes. But like, how successful are they? Like as, as vloggers, like they said that they had a meet and greet, but you can schedule a meet and greet really by yourself whenever you want to. It's just, the question is who's gonna show up to it. So yeah, do they have, you know, are they like behind the curve size with a very, very, very small channel or are they like million subscriber, like super fruit Merrill twins level? Uh, Cause that, that's, that's gonna be real interesting to see that like, split up here but yeah changes are coming big changes are coming and it's probably gonna hurt but it's definitely the best for these two characters because they fucking hate each other that's the only way to say it they absolutely hate each other uh but yeah let's go ahead and get into episode four hey Dave. hey guys i'm kyle and i'm brendan we've got a very important announcement coming up the end of this video today. Mm, that you're breaking up. It's Stay gotta be it. It's gotta be it. But first, Q and A. Unless it's a big mystery. We asked you guys for questions on Tumblr and Twitter using the hashtag hashtag Ask Kaiden. Shit! What if it go. is all one big mislead? Oh, hey Julian. You guys. Thanks for seeing Ooh, us. Oh, they have yeah. an age? The agency looks yes, great. It's yes. like this okay. new building is... Close, yeah. So they are pretty big. What's your favorite color? Uh, green. I like green. That's bad. You could be any ice also cream. mine. What would it be? Mint chocolate chip. Because it's like classic, but um, it's got like that mint twist to it. I don't like mint ice cream. At Hard Salami asked, How, what would it take to cut your hair? <laughs> Yeah, I guess if like an opportunity came around where they needed me to have short hair, I would cut it. Hair goes back, you can grow that back. Well, uh, so we wanted to have a little bit of a... Thanks for seeing us. It's yeah, kind of awkward. Discussion. What's going on, guys? Um, oh, God. Okay. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Flight? Just flying would be great. Well, it's a cool one. Invisibility, so I can know about secrets. Would you just sneak into the boys' locker room? Watch me show. <laughs> kind of weird, man. To be man. honest, uh, that we're going to split up the channel. Ah! Go our own separate ways. Try to pursue idea. some things uh, as our own selves. Uh, I'd like to get more into some of the uh, acting part of things. Kyle uh, really would like to go into it. I can speak for myself. Um, I mean, ideally I would like to not split up the channel, but it seems as if it's inevitable. And if you've been watching any of our videos, you can see that there's palpable tension yeah. in them. And I would agree. arrangement cannot continue. If you could wear any other type of hat, what would it be? Palpable tension. I'd That's wear, a good like, one. Have you seen those bigger beanies that are just like really stiff? But like right. you, they look like they're stuffed with like. Yeah, they're just enormous. They're like Mario. I think those are super hip. They're like Super Mario Brothers World Four hats. They're really hip. I would love one of those. Yeah, or a Pharrell hat. It's kind of hard <laughs> to keep pretending that. But you guys, you guys are like you're so perfect together. You know, you got you got the hat, you got the hair, you got the nice little mullet going on. Now you got your little. Who is playing this person? Have they done any know. other stuff in this universe? Like the American Tin Can Shipwreck Star Kid. You're like uh, the Beaver universe? and Selena. They broke up. Um, the Jonas Brothers. They were together. 
They broke up and they're not. They weren't. Were were they? They were brothers. They weren't what lovers. Oh. (laughs) Well, then I had the whole thing wrong. Oh my god. You're like Kim and uh, Kanye. They're still together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well. (laughs) Well, okay. uh, Julian, I don't know if there's a way to express. We're not comfortable doing this. If you were on a desert island mm. and you could bring three things, I would bring um, a book of like a collection of Sylvia Plath poems, my vinyl collection, this little uh, like this little figurine that my my grandma got me before she died. Oh, how would I play my vinyls? It's it's not always about. <laughs> you the don't money. know anything about this business. It is about the money. Once you get that first paycheck. Oh mind. You'll lose it. It's it's just become insane with money and power. It feels so good. You were stranded on a desert island. Who is this person? I would bring this little beanie baby so I could find something to just start conversation with and not feel crazy. Some sunscreen so I can monitor my attention. The book East of Eden. So it's either you guys stick together. Getting those views. Which you definitely you shouldn't do. You go on with your normal lives, or you just lost a manager. What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do with all that money? Me? First, I'd buy a big house in the other side of town. I'd love to just backpack around the world by myself. Just sort of find myself, get some alone time. It'd just be nice. It's just sort of a dream of mine. Maybe like sail. I'd nice. get a sea do, and then I'd get an underwater camera so I can use it for the sea do. Are you sure you want to break up? God. Yeah, thanks for seeing us, but... Alright, get the hell out of my office. I got an Adele girl who is three years old. She sings Adele like no one else's business. Get out of here. Okay. Do you guys validate uh, our kids? We just one for a client. Separate. One. God. Shannon, can you uh, please send in the uh, Adele girl? And don't let her mother in. Well, guys, that was fun. Thanks for watching. Yeah, but now we gotta bring it in a little bit. Uh, we gotta kind of oh. take on a more serious tone. So oh, the announcement! Really important, and some changes that are gonna be happening with the channel. Now, as you know, we have been making videos together on this channel uh, for a very long time, every Thursday, and with stuff all throughout the rest of the week. But I think we've come to a conclusion between the two of us. This is mutual, so don't worry. Great sadness. We have decided we're going to switch back to Tuesdays. Just got to change it up. There's a lot of just Ah, stuff happening behind the scenes. Trust me, this change in routine is one big fucking mislead. Stick with us. Keep sharing, keep subscribing. Um, You'll always be our day. Next Thursday is the last Thursday of the month. So, we're going to be looking but at... But their agent dropped the them, right? For a video that you want to see on the final Thursday uh, of the final hashtag uh, Our LA Life Thursday. Guys, stay tuned for news. We're going to be streaming on you now early it's next something week. something pretty crazy. All the kids are using it. We're doing a seance. To, uh, a seance. So I think you guys want to... It's gonna, it's gonna be a very intimate and kind of personal event that we've decided to stream all across the internet for the entire world to see. We think it's important that you guys see us like that. We've always tried to be authentic on this, so this is just ads. I mean, have you? Yeah. I came in once and the Brita water filter had no water in it, and then it suddenly had water in it, and I was convinced for a week that David had done it. Because I know this guy. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was an amazing line read there on, on, on the fuck you and timing. Holy shit, that was funny. They there's no way. There's no way that they are ending this show with them still together. Like I I, I am so confused because like the one reason why they would stay together is, you know, to to, to keep the channel going and you know keep their agent and keep getting these opportunities so the fact that their agent dropped them and they decided hey let's like keep going i yeah even though i said this might just be one giant mislead i i really 
didn't like I, I didn't think the possibility of that was too terribly high. And son of a bitch, I was wrong. They are just so toxic around each other. Oh my God. And it just keeps getting worse somehow. And like, honestly, like the best thing that they could possibly do right now is to just at the very least take a break. Just like walk away from the channel for a little bit of time. Because if you keep putting out these videos where, you know, the, the, the tension is palpable, it's going to cost you subscribers and people that watch your stuff because they don't want to see that you know people aren't dumb they will be able to recognize that so yeah i feel like just taking a little break now you leave the channel up and it like at least leaves the door open for some kind of comeback or some kind of reunion like i, I feel like that would be like the the the, the reasonable thing to do uh, just for the time being but i feel like the only reasonable character that we have even been introduced to in this was John Cosart. <laughs> oh my God. But I, yeah, I, I'm really intrigued to see how they're planning on wrapping this up now that they didn't announce to everybody that they're breaking up, yet they dumped their agent and told him, oh my God, I don't know. But that <laughs> you're like Kim and Kanye line, oh my God, does that hit different here in 2020? Uh, I, I, I love that kind of stuff. Just not so much that jokes age poorly, but just a, a, a different climate, if you will. So that, yeah, that, that joke really got me there. Um, but I gotta ask, like, who was that kid that played the agent? Cause I'm, he was, he was fine. Like he, he, he was okay, but he really struck me as more of like a friend of the Tin Can Brothers or like a Kickstarter backer uh, versus like an, like an, an actor, actor, or maybe like, maybe a friend of theirs. I don't know. Now watch, like somebody's going to comment and it's going to be like, kid Tom Holland or something like that and I'm just gonna look like the biggest asshole <laughs> but yeah I I don't know maybe it was just like I couldn't really hear him that well in a lot of things plus it kind of seemed like he was riffing quite a bit just kind of like improving it and it, it 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 wasn't wonderful but yeah if anybody knows please feel free to <laughs> let me know I yeah I'm gonna feel like such a fool if that kid is actually some kind of like famous child actor. Uh, actually, would they even... Shit, how long ago was this filmed? Probably at least three, four years ago, maybe five years ago. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, I'm thinking too much about this who, kid who's probably hasn't done a super lot. But regardless, I am so, so excited to see how all of this wraps up in the finale. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Again, make sure you're subscribed so you'll be one of the first to watch my reaction to the finale. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you all very soon.